name's Aaliyah and welcome to my channel. Today I'm redrawing my characters Orsta and Shelby. I really love these two and I'm super excited to draw them again. Quick warning for flashing, I move my canvas around a lot. Anyway, enjoy! So the first thing I wanted to attack with this redraw was the pose. The pose in the original drawing is very boring and it lacks character. I want to give them a more dynamic pose that is still recognizable as a redraw, but has a lot more personality. I chose this one where Orsa's arm was on Shelby's shoulder. I thought this pose would be easy and I wouldn't have any issues with it. It was not. I don't know why I had such a difficult time drawing this, but I'm sure you'll see me redraw it a ton of times. I still don't think it looks correct, but I kind of gave up because it was just taking way too long and going nowhere. Anatomy is something that I definitely need to start seriously studying and working on. So basically, I'm gonna give like a little sneak peek on the story they're from. I don't want to explain it fully because one, I don't actually have a super complete idea of the plot and the characters. Nothing is really fleshed out completely yet. Um, and two, I'd like to make more videos on these characters since I've been working on them for a long time and they've been around for a while. In the world they're from, there is going to be four areas in the kingdom. The four areas are all based off of an animal, so one is based off a snowy owl, one is based off of a snake, one is based off bears, and one is based off of fish, I guess. Maybe sea creatures in general, because I don't know if fish sounds very good at all. I don't think I'll name any of the areas after their animal directly, because it just doesn't sound great. I have yet to think of names though, so if you have any ideas, please let me know. In this story, there's going to be four girls, so Orsa and Shelby are two of them. And then the other two are named Ira and Natharia, and they're from the Snowy Owl and the Snake Tribe. Ursa's from the Bear Tribe, and then Shelby is from the Fish Tribe. That's really all I have for the plot right now. For some reason, they're going to become kind of warriors and have these magical girl-esque personas. I want there to be a lot of rich world building. I haven't thought that much about it though, so I'll update you when that happens. In terms of the characters, they are also not super fleshed out, but the general base I have for them currently is Shelby's a very shy girl. She doesn't have many friends and she's really nervous about expressing herself and I think it holds her back. Family's pretty disappointed in her because of her lack of talent in any area, really. And then Orsa is going to be kind of the opposite. She's very confident and sure of herself. She has a big personality in contrast to Shelby's kind of very quiet and mousy like demeanor. I think that they're gonna interact a lot throughout the story, and Orsa is gonna help Shelby get out of her shell, <laughs> no pun intended, and really find herself and help her gain more self-esteem. They're gonna become really good friends. They're gonna have a really fun relationship. They're probably my two favorite characters to draw. I love drawing them together, and especially Shelby. She's probably my all-time favorite to draw out of the four of them. She's just so cute. The way I do my liner is very different from then to now. It used to be very flat with no emphasis on certain parts. I would always use black as well, other than Shelby in this drawing. She's in a turquoise color. I don't think it fits. It looks a little bit out of place. But now I like to use colored liner that has different line weights. This really helps drawing to look more dynamic. And a quick tip, duplicating the layer and then putting the duplicated layer on Gaussian Blur, maybe about 3%, can really help add that extra oomph to your liner as well. That 
that's all I have to say for this stage in the drawing. I'll probably start talking again when I begin coloring. That's all for me for now. sure what I was going for in the original drawing in terms of their outfits. In this story, they're gonna have their civilian outfits and then their magical girl outfits, and this is not really either of them, or maybe it's some kind of mix of both. It's far too detailed to be their civilian outfits and not at all what I imagined for their magical girl outfits, so I kind of just 
a thought of something random and put it on the page. It doesn't feel like it has any intentions and it doesn't suit the characters. I don't really like these outfits, especially Shelby's. I think it's really strange. And if she's living in a tropical climate, I don't really know why she has that long sleeve thing. For Shelby, I went with her design that I actually already have planned out. It's still liable to change, but it's pretty concrete and I've had it for a while. I like how she turned out. I think she looks like herself. One thing I really struggle with is drawing the same character over and over again with the same face. I just, if anyone has any tips on how to do that properly, I would love to know because it's one of my biggest issues. I can never get the characters looking the same as the last time I drew it. And if I ever want to create comics, I think consistency is a really important part of that. In the original drawing, I made Shelby's eyes red, and I don't know why I did that. I've drawn her both with red and purple eyes over the years, so in my final design, I went with purple because I think it looks way more appealing. I think blue would probably have fit best because of the sea theme, but I do like the purple. The blue, I actually don't have that much blue in her design. Maybe I should add more to go with the blue kind of sea theme, but I am fairly happy with it, so we'll see if that changes. In terms of Orsa, I don't actually have a concrete design for her. This was just one of the ideas I had for her outfit, and it probably won't be the final one, because even though I really like how it turned out, it's good to challenge your original idea and try to think of new ones that could possibly be better. I know for most of my characters, I definitely didn't go with my first original idea, even though I usually liked it. She's supposed to be medieval, kind of viking inspired. Her character fights a lot and she's training to become a guard, so I want her to look really tough. In the original drawing, I made, yeah, both of their outfits way too detailed, especially if I'm making it a comic. It would be difficult to draw over and over again. I want to try to go for something simpler for both of them. They both have kept their original color scheme somewhat, with Orsa's brown, gold, and a little bit of green. I really liked it, so I decided to keep it the same. And then for Shelby, I just added more white to her design. The pink has become less of a peach color and more of a standard pink. Another thing I changed a lot from the old drawing to this one is the background. I used to be super nervous to draw backgrounds and I would just always ignore them, opting to do a box or a circle behind my characters. For this, I wanted to show how much I've improved with drawing backgrounds and that the practice has really paid off. I chose a backdrop of clouds because I love to draw clouds. I think it's very therapeutic and I'm really happy with how they turned out. I think backgrounds can add a lot to a drawing. Anyway, that's about all I have to say, so enjoy the music, and I'll see you at the end of the video.
Watching and I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me at AliFlower88 on Instagram. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye bye!